to Andrea Saves. I'm Andrea. It's nice to see you here again. So today I am going to do the challenges in my large binder. They are large in size, not large in cost. So I am, I do have one piece of Happy Mail that I am going to open. So I will do part of these and then I will open it and then I will move on. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have had a wonderful day as well. So let's get to it. All right. My first challenge is the December No Spend Challenge. This challenge is by Hands and Bands. Um, she cr has created this, I think, for every month this year. I didn't quite get into it for a while, but this is where we are going to be at. So we are going to go from the first because I did not do that last week. So we have two, four, six, eight, and ten dollars that we owe this December no spend challenge. I guess we need to see how much we have. We have 20, 40, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. So we are going to do 10 into this challenge since we are starting. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And that is what we are starting with today. So next week we will have one last day. But I'm hoping I, my goal is to have 15 no spend day, days this month. And so far I only have 3. So I am not doing very good that so far. But we will continue on trying all right here is the youtube monetization tracker this is the challenge is done up by d versus jet so it is to get to a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours to have be monetized on youtube and so i am currently at 176 subscribers and 328 watch hours so I need to color in one more of these little circles here and one here. So for each of the subscribers, this each one is 10. So I am, hey, we're getting pretty close. Three more and I'll be at 200. And then we have 50 um, watch hours for each of these little clocks. And so we have for 300, hopefully by next week, we'll have be able to do one more. And we are going to put $2 into this challenge. All right. So for that, we have 21, 2, and 3. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of your support. This is the Starbucks challenge. This challenge is by D versus Debt. And this doesn't mean coffee. What this means is star notes. So on the US dollars at the end of the serial number, if there is a star, this is a reprint of a bill that has been damaged or destroyed in previous. So this one, this week I have one to add. Uh, currently, I have found none in the wild, but my husband has, at work has been able to find a few. So that is pretty fun. Um, he thinks it's funny to bring my home bills and then I get to put them away and can't spend them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven on this. So I did finish one of these pages with 20 bills. I think it was 20. Yeah, 20 bills. Uh, they were all ones. And so this time I'm counting the number of bills each time I put them in here. So we will have more than 20 by the time we get done. So, alrighty. This is the Invest $100 Challenge. This is by Mommy Trader. Her name is Shalice. And this was done up to... Each of these plants are supposed to be worth $2.38. And when you get to the finish, you will have $100 to invest. I am doing this my way. 
Um, my husband and I each have a Robin Hood account and we invest $25 each week. This is going to be for extra money. So I am doing $5 for each plant and at the end we will have $210 that we will split and each have $105 extra on top of our normal every day. So this week I am just going to put in five. So we're going to color this one. So when we get done with this row, we will be halfway. So I don't have very great dollars, so I'm going to put in a 20 and take out some change so that we can move on. So I have 50, 70, and 90 for this challenge now. I will link all of these it, um, people in the description box so you can watch their channels or you can link up to their um, shops and be able to find any of these challenges if you're looking for them. All right. This one is a new one that I started last week. This is the Wordle Savings Challenge and this is by Two Sister Bees. This one I am using to have a challenge against my mom. So we are each playing Wordle and our goal is for the whole month to do Wordle every single day. And what will end up happening is at the end we will compare. And technically if you win by getting the least amount of guesses, you will have the least amount of money in your envelope. But because we are doing a challenge against each other, uh, whoever is the winner is going to swap. And so the winner will end up with the least the most amount of money and the loser will end up with the least amount of money and this will end up this is to go for a vacation that we are planning in a couple of years so we're going to start saving money and so we thought this would be a fun one for us to do so i put in my three last week and for this week i have not done very well i think her and i are pretty close on our on our amounts that we have in there but I won't know for sure till the end of the month. So currently I owe this $33 for from the 2nd to the 8th. So we are going to do 20, 30, 31, 32, and 33. So that is going to give us 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Oh my goodness. All right. So that is very fun. All right. This challenge is the I Want My Mummy Challenge. This challenge is by Michelle at Free to Fly. I am not going to be able to put any money in this this week because I am trying to do some so another challenge, but this is going to be to save up money. Each one of these is $10 and it will save up $420 when I get done. And that will allow me to take a trip to go see my parents um, or I want my mommy. <laughs> so I think this is fun and I think it's really fun coloring them all in wild colors. So, but this week is going to have to wait. This is what I am hoping to do this week. So I am trying to knock out a couple of the bigger ones or at least one of the bigger ones. So I am going to put 20 into this challenge and we are going to color in, there's my head, sorry. We are going to color in. So I am putting whole dollars in, but I am picking the next going up in amount. So this one is says $19.88. I am going to put $20 in. This is by Beautifully Me and You. And I am using it to put them in my um, envelopes that I made for something else and then I wasn't able to use them so that is in our envelope number four we are putting this I'm not quite sure what we'll be using this for when we get done but that is I'm going to go out of order and try to get as many of the big ones done first as I possibly can because I know sometimes things are not as 
good as they are other times. So that is very exciting. So we are four weeks into this 52 weeks challenge and that means that I will finish it up probably early part or the end of November next year. So that is very fun. All right. So I have looks like five dollars left. So I this is the hundred cupcake doodles. This is by, at from debtfreecharts.com, and this is we'll do five of these little cupcakes today. So remember, I decided I don't like to color these little tiny details in. So we're just changing the color up each week and filling them in when we get to 100 because I have decided that each of these is going to be worth $1. I will have an extra $100 saved up. Once again, I don't really know what this one is going to go for, but I've got several savings accounts that I need to kind of beef up. And so that is what probably will happen with these. All right, so we are gonna add our five to here. I have 20, 35, 36, and 37. That is very exciting. So I would, this is for a monthly challenge, so we will not be doing this. One of my goals this month was to add at least $150 to my IRAs, and uh, this week I was able to add $200 to my IRAs. So I am keeping track of this. I have both a traditional and a Roth IRA. I need <laughs> the tax portion at the moment. But I, I'm not sure which one is going to benefit me in the long run. And so I am working at trying to do both of them. This tracker is by D versus Debt. And then I'm just keeping track by the blue ones are going into my Roth. And the pink ones have gone into my traditional. And this is... I was hoping to get it done by the end of this year. I may only get it done by the cutoff next year if I'm very lucky and I put my nose to the grindstone. But I think I'm doing really good. I only opened my IRA last year in 2021 and I only got $600 put away. Being that I am in my 40s, I am a little bit behind. But <laughs> I am going to work really hard at trying to catch up so that I do have something. My retirement plan had always been to have that I would qualify for Social Security because I've worked for most of my life. And uh, that makes me a little bit nervous. Also, my husband will have some retirement. And if something happens to him, I will still get part of it. But it will cut down and I will not have our standard everyday living amount coming in. So that is what I am doing. I'm trying to make it so that I have something that is mine to be able to cl claim if anything ever happens. And then for next year, I made this since the amounts will be going up. My goal, since I did not manage to get this other one done, is to ha have a fully funded IRA next year. And so I did this and it, for, it works out at $6,500 to being $125 a week. So I am going to try my best to do $125 every single week next year in 2023 so that I don't have to stress and that I will have it fully funded by the end of the year. So this is something that I plan to cross one off every time I transfer that money into my IRA. All right, that is the large binder challenges. And I am going to open this Happy Mail. So I cannot flip it over because it is, uh, it has address on the front, but this is from the Happy Mail Fairy. Let's see if I can get this open without, <laughs> I don't want to cut anything. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy 
New Year with love and kindness, the Happy Mail Fairy. Isn't that cute? Thank you. That was so sweet. Even with the big mess. <laughs> I will find some way to clean this stuff up. But that is really cute. I love that she does this and it makes it very sweet. So I was blessed this month to get one of her her cards and I think that's very sweet of her. Thank you very much. All right, if you uh, are still here, please go ahead and leave me a comment or a like or just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I thank you for being here so much and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Sunday with my small savings challenges.